hi everyone welcome back to my channel it has been a minute since i have filmed anything since i've uploaded anything i think it has been more than a month since my last upload i am so sorry for my absence it was not intentional but i honestly did not have anything to film for this past month but now that i say that i am now behind on things that i want to film so that's just how the world works but yeah i'm really sorry that i took a few weeks off i got to just chill for a little bit so today we are going to be setting up my binders for some upcoming k-pop comebacks one of them has already happened you can probably see which one i'm talking about um but yeah so we have three groups that i want to set up for today nct 127 17 and zero base one i wasn't going to set up for zero base one but i'm really really excited for their comeback actually so yeah i do want to set up to collect a matthew for that comeback and of course like 127 we're setting up for ot9 and jaehyun pobs and then for 17 i'm setting up to collect s coops and mingyu business as usual for those two groups but yeah so even though i have the most to set up for for 127 i'm gonna do them first because the album is out so i figured it makes sense to do these in release order so we're gonna start with 127 okay so i am on sub k's website i think i've only ever bought from sub k once actually but yeah so i'm just gonna be using their listings to kind of go through everything really sorry if my ipad is dirty i forgot to wipe it off before i started filming but you know it's fine so for 127 there are quite a few versions of the album and we're gonna start with the photo book version this is the chandelier version of the album and it looks like sub k was giving out the apple music pub with these um with their pre-order which is really nice but it is sold out so shocker i'm not gonna get into my thoughts on the comeback and everything i'm gonna save that for my unboxing i will be doing an unboxing of this album if my albums ever ship i pray that they will but yeah so i'm not gonna say anything we're just gonna go through the album details and i will try and just keep it together so yes the chandelier version is just the photo book version um it comes with a random like postcard photo which is a random one out of nine i need this jayhan postcard he's in his little beret I need to own that. And then we also have a photo card, which is a random one out of nine. This has already been released. Oh, and there's also a sticker set. That's interesting. Um, this has already been released. So if you want, you can look up photo card templates and you can see what these actually look like. Um, I won't show that here just in case there are people who don't want to be spoiled just yet. But yeah, this um, album is out. So yeah but that is pretty standard for photo books the next version i want to get into is the storage version so if you're familiar with like i guess this is like the vending machine equivalent from istj um this is like 127's version so yeah but we do have a postcard set in this album so that's really nice i'm excited to see those and then of course the random one out of nine photo cards yay next we can do the exhibit version which is basically the equivalent of a tissue pack or a jewel case i'm really not that thrilled about this album version i think i've talked about this before with like nct dream and stuff and espa this is just a folded up piece of paper with a cd and a photo card inside like this is not an album but alas, here we are. I did not buy all nine of these. I just bought one random one for my unboxing. And if I don't pull Jaehyun, I'll just buy his like secondhand on Mercury Japan or something. These go for very cheap after the fact, so I'm not concerned about it. But yeah, it's um, a random member cover and then you literally open it and it's a poster. So this is what the posters look like. Johnny's little boob hole, like are we seeing him? actual sleigh but yeah in these albums you get a sticker sheet and then a random postcard set so you get four out of nine postcards because this album came out last friday i actually have bought quite a few u.s exclusive copies so i do have like the group version of this and i've already pulled ot9 for the postcard so that's really funny but yeah and then here are the photo cards so random one of nine as well so yeah that is the poster version or the exhibit version as they're calling it next we are gonna do the qr version it looks like this version is also sold out on sub k but this is basically reminiscent of the nemo version or the smart version of the album they did for two baddies and they also did a QR version for ICJ as well. And I think Key also had um, something similar to this, if I'm not mistaken. But this is just basically like a little box with cards in it. So 
Um, yeah, you do get image cards here of all the members. Tail, unfortunately, is not included in this because this is from the, I'm not track video, but the, I think it's called Deity of Soul is what it was called, like the pre-release video that they came out with. And Tail, unfortunately, did not participate in filming that. So yes, um, and then you get a random one out of eight stickers. I will try and collect Jaehyun's, but we'll see. And then you do get a random one out of eight Polaroids. I will be collecting all of these for them. I thought this was an interesting inclusion. And then of course the random one out of eight photo cards. This is definitely my favorite set out of all of them. It is superior. I'm so excited to collect all of these. I think they all look so cute. So yes, that is the um, QR version of the album. Okay. And the last version is the S mini version. This is also sold out on sub K. That is kind of crazy. Did they, oh, they didn't even put album details on here. Okay. I just opened up a random store online. This is K-pop online store USA. I've never bought from them, but I'm just using them as an example because they have the album details. So this is the S mini version. This is a member version of the album and I am obsessed with this Yuta one. I cannot wait to own this. Oh my god. But yeah, the S minis are basically like little keychains. I really like these actually because it's a keychain. It's like not technically an album, but it's it's a fun little inclusion. I think of it more as like a collectible than an album version, but we do have all nine members for the S minis. I did buy all nine S minis, so I will be unboxing all nine of these um, once my albums get here. And then we have the back packaging marks. Oh my god, I can't wait to see these in person. Um, and then we have the random one out of nine photo cards. I am so excited to see Yuta's photo card as well as Mark's. Oh, I'm so excited. It's gonna be so good. But yeah, those are all of the album versions. So let's get into the binder and start setting things up. Okay, so we have the big 127 binder out now. This is where I keep all of their Korean album photo cards for OT9. Um, I have set up for OT9 for Golden Age, but that's a problem for another day. <laughs> Um, okay, so this is going to be really easy for me because I already made the fillers for this and I already put in all the pages that I need, so we're just kind of going to stick these in. So the chandelier version will have nine photo cards, so the whole page is going to be filled. And then we have the storage version. Again, nine photo cards, so it'll be a full page. The exhibit version or the poster version. And then the QR version, so this is the version that tail is not in. So I'm thinking of making like fillers for him in his place. I think that would be really cute. I'm gonna have extra albums. I'm gonna be able to do some collaging. So I'm sure I can come up with something for him to make sure he's like represented on the page. Then we have the S mini photo card set. And then I am collecting the Target photo card set OT9, so. Yes, that is in line with what I'm doing for Two Baddies and Ayo. I'm collecting Target for those, so I figured I would just continue the tradition. And the photo cards are in their fan meeting Prince outfits, so I, I caved. And then we can go to the back. So this section is OT9 sets that are like not selfies and um, non-album. So back here, I already put it on a page. I'm gonna put the QR Polaroids. So again, Tail won't have a card, but I will make something for him to go here. But yeah, that is gonna be it for the OT9 stuff. So one set, two, three, four, five, six, seven sets of cards for fact check, which is just, it's beautiful, honestly. I love collecting one year seven, so I'm really happy about it. I'm trying to keep my thoughts about the comeback, like not in this video because I want to save everything in my unboxing, but just know I love 127 dearly. Okay, so next we get to work in my Jaehyun non-album binder because of course SM is doing the most with the pops and the fan signs and I'm not complaining. I love collecting the stuff for Jaehyun, so I'm personally very excited. So these um, blank pages here are gonna be for golden age. So just gonna leave those blank because I'm like very confused about what I 
have on the way for him. So yeah, a, pro a problem for future me. So I have already pre-made some fillers, so I guess I'll just put these in and um, we'll talk about everything. So there are US exclusives for this album and I do plan on collecting all of Jaehyun's US exclusives. So we have Walmart, we have D2C, which I think look very similar. Um, and I made two separate fillers for Barnes and Noble and the indie version. Since the album has come out, the indie ver these two versions are the same. It's the same photo card. So I'm just gonna keep the filler for the indie one in here. And yeah, that's gonna be that. That does kind of pissed me off a little bit because it was gonna be a full four pattern. Um, I actually do have extra Jaehyun Target exclusive cards because I pulled a lot of his in my album. So maybe I'll just put one of the extra Target cards here. But for now, I'll just start filling in with pobs. So we have SM Town and Store. Then we have Make Star, which is a hollow pob. Um, all of these I have secured in a group order, so bless that gome that is helping me out. Um, then we have Everline, InterAsia, K-Town for You, Apple Music, and then they did a showcase event with either Everline or Yes24. So there is a showcase event photo card. So yeah, that was everything I had set up for like pre-comeback. And now since the comeback has started, there's just been more and more things announced. So I actually, I need to get my iPad out because I'm gonna forget what everything is. So, oh my God, there's been a lot announced since I set up for this. Where to begin? Show. Um, there is a Weverse live event, which I'm very intrigued to see. This is our first Weverse benefit um, since all of the SM artists have um, made their way over to the Weverse app. So yeah, I'm excited to see what the benefit looks like and everything. And I am filming this on a Tuesday. The comeback was on Friday, but as of the time of me filming this, we have not gotten any like clear, well, aside from the US exclusives, but for all of the Korean pops and everything, we have not gotten like clear images of them yet because SM decided to not ship our albums until like starting last night. So that was super fun. The next thing is the k Town For You fan sign. So this was an offline fan sign event, but it did come with a photo card benefit. Next, we have the Make Star video call event. I was going back and forth on if I wanted to try entering the video call, um, and I decided not to because it just seemed like everyone was opening for it, which like, of course, everyone was. This is kind of the first like largely accessible video call of the era so i am wondering if i might want to make if they announce like another video call if i might want to try <laughs> and apply for jayhyun i don't know i've always been the type of person who like does not want to be perceived by anyone especially these men it's never been my thing it's never been something that i've wanted to do but Something about this comeback has made me like the 127s in in my bloodstream is just thriving right now and I feel the need to tell 127 that. <laughs> so I don't know, we'll see. Who even knows if they're going to do any more fan signs or fan calls. Um, the next thing is gonna be Mumo. I think there is more than one Mumo card. But for now, I'm just gonna put in one filler because it's fine. And actually, I'm going to leave these two slots blank because they just announced today actually lucky draws and there are four lucky draws for this first round and I want to put them all together on a page. So I'm just gonna do that. I think I'll just make one filler to save on post-its and I'll just put like round one lucky draws and like the store names and everything i thought like with how the rollout was going for this comeback i really thought we weren't gonna get that many like events like this i thought sm was just kind of gonna give up on 127 but 
no, it has been full steam ahead with lucky draws and everything. So I'm, I'm happy. Like I'm really excited to collect all of this for Jay Hyun. I love him so much. So yeah, and the lucky draws look really, really cute. I am tempted to claim some other members <laughs> for these lucky draws because um, they are very cute. And I actually have claimed some Mark Pobs because I'm insane, but it's fine. That's a little messy, but we're gonna get over it and live. And yeah, so this will be the page for the Lucky Draws and I'm sure they'll do at least two more events so for me to fill this up, but I'm kind of scared for this binder because they haven't even started promoting yet and there's already, how many pages is that? One, two, three, four five pages of benefits so we shall see where we end up with by the end but i'm really really excited to collect for him and for 127 in general of course but let's move on to 17 now okay so next we're gonna get into 17 they are coming back on october 23rd i think yes 1023 with their 11th mini album 17th heaven i'm really excited for this it's been a while since I've liked a 17 album concept, to be honest. Um, so when I saw these get released, all these different covers, I was just so excited. It looks so bright and colorful. And yeah, I feel like we've been missing this um, for a while. So I'm super, super excited. So as per usual, there are three different photo book versions. It's pretty standard for what we see from 17. It is a box packaging. So, you know, that's a choice. They there is the 526 a.m. version, the 214 p.m. version, and the 1023 p.m. version. Each one will come with a lyric book, a festival wristband, a paper art kit. 17 always has us doing like some type of arts and crafts. There is a sticker, which is random. It's a one out of 13. I don't know if I'll personally be collecting this. I'm kind of over collecting large inclusions for 17 just because there's so many. So yeah, we'll see. Um, what I end up doing with the stickers. And then for the photo cards, it's a random two out of 26. So each member has two cards per version, which again is pretty standard for 17 at this point. Then there's also a mini card in the photo book versions, which is photo card size. So this will fit in the binder and it's a random one out of 13. So one per member per version. And then we have the CD and the folded posters. So yeah, that is the photo book version. I am really excited about this. Actually, we got the first First round of concept photos today for the 526 a.m. version and they look so great. I'm so excited to see the rest of the photos and yeah, I'm just, I'm really, really excited about this comeback. Okay, next we have the carrot version. We all know and love the carrot version. So it is the same type of packaging as the photo book version. And of course we will get a hardcover binder that is member specific. There's a lyric book, CD, and then the photo card is a random four out of 52 random. So each member has four photo cards for the carrot version. This is very standard for 17. They always do this for the carrot version. I personally am not planning on buying any physical copies of the carrot version. I just plan on buying the cards on like Mercari Japan because these albums are so cheap like on sub k you saw it's only like 14 dollars for a carrot version the cards resale for very cheap because you get a full set like four photo cards per album so yeah i'm just gonna buy a scoops and menu afterwards on mercury japan so yes but that is the carrot version the cover does look really cute though but yeah i'm trying to kind of limit my physical album buying and then these next two versions i'm not planning on collecting at least not right now but i will just show there is a Kino for this release, which is just so annoying, honestly. But yeah, the random inclusion is just one selfie photo card. You get random one out of 13. So yeah, I don't know why 17 still does Kinos, honestly. And then the last version is the Weaver's version. This again is basically just like a card holder with photo cards in it, but there's a QR card that's a random one out of 13 and a selfie photo card that's a random two out of 26. Historically, Weavers has always sent these in member sets. So I think it's gonna be the case for this comeback. We will get member sets for the Weavers. I'll talk about a bit more about what I'm collecting for this comeback when we get there, but yeah, there is that. So yeah, that's everything for this um, comeback so far. <laughs> there's still a few weeks to go until this comes out. So I don't know if uh, Hybe is planning on adding things 
but we shall see. But for now, that's what we're going with. Okay, this should be relatively painless because it's a fairly easy setup for this comeback, which is nice. I feel like it's not too much, you know what I mean? It's like just enough photo cards to collect for me to feel satisfied, but yes. So my thoughts for this comeback are because for the photo book version, there are two cards per member per version and one mini card per member per version. I'm thinking of giving them each their own pages for the photo book versions. So I do have fillers for S coupes for all three versions and I did try my best to like match up the colors of the album with my sticky notes. I don't think I did like a perfect job but it is what it is. They're having the annual corgi meetup outside so I'm sorry if you can hear that but yeah and then I'll just fill in the rest with white sleeves. I think this will be fun to give them their own page and I think it's gonna look really cohesive. So I'm excited to see how this turns out. Okay, and then Mingyu will do the same thing. It feels so weird not setting up for DK. Oh my god. Very strange, but it will be fine. Okay, so yeah, that's gonna be the setup for the photo book version. And then the last version I'm gonna be setting up for is the carrot version. I am, as of right now, not planning on collecting the Weavers version just because like for last comeback, it was literally just a repeat of version three. And it just kind of felt like useless in my opinion. I wish they would have done an entirely new set of cards for the Weavers version, but yeah. So for now, I'm not planning on buying it or collecting it, but obviously when the cards come out and if it's like an entirely different concept from anything that I'm already collecting, I will probably collect it for them. But for now, I will just set up for the carrot version. So this is also very easy because there are just four cards per member. I feel like there are so many comebacks happening in the next few weeks. Definitely let me know which comeback you're the most excited for. I mean, 127 was my most anticipated comeback of the year, um, but now that that is, you know, here, we have it. It has happened. Um, I'm definitely really looking forward to 17 and Zero Base One, I think, the most out of what's been announced. So yeah let me know down below like what are you collecting who are you collecting for like literally so many groups are about to drop new music and yeah it's gonna be an exciting time but let's move on to zb1 now all right so the last comeback we have to set up for today is zero base one so excited for their first comeback as of right now this is the only version of the album that has been announced it's the photo book version and there are three different versions the fairy tale loyalty and mystery version just go through these quickly so the fairy tale version has a key ring which is really cool i'm hoping the photo cards don't get damaged because of it there is also a random postcard one out of ten so it looks like there will be a group postcard as well and then for photo cards there's a two out of 18. Obviously there's two photo cards per member per version, but if you buy a set of albums, you will get enough cards to trade for your member. So that's nice at least. Um, and there's also this paper mobile thing. I don't really know what that entails, but I don't think I'm planning on buying the physical album for Zero Base One. These are just a little too chunky for me, but we'll see if I like absolutely love the concept, I might cave and buy it. We haven't gotten any um, album like previews or anything like that, so we shall see. Then we have the loyalty version, which again has the key ring, the postcard, the random photo cards, and instead of a mobile, it has a lenticular card. So obviously this is photo card size, so it will fit in like a nine pocket, which is nice. And the last version is the mystery version, which again has all the same inclusions, except this time it comes with a message card. So yeah, it's pretty standard. Like I'm not seeing anything that is making me nervous about collecting for this comeback. They have not announced any type of member version, like a digipack or anything. I assume they will, because why wouldn't they? 
So yeah, but for right now, for today, I'm only gonna set up for the photo book version. So let's get into that. Okay, Matthew, 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 my beloved. So this should also be pretty straightforward. So I need six things for the photo cards, like album photo cards. And then I guess I'll do one for the lenticular. And then, ooh, this is perfect. I plan on collecting three pre-order benefits for Matthew. So yes, I am going to cut the post-its because these fillers are a bit smaller and maybe I can like save a bit of paper by doing that. Not that much, but yeah. So ZB1, I have been getting caught up on their content because I kind of fell off for a minute. And yeah, I'm just, oh, I'm such a big fan of them. I, I don't even know. And Matthew is like slowly creeping up there. Like I'm just a little bit obsessed with him and everything he does. Oh my God, I already hate these fillers. I don't like how I did this, but it's, it's too late. We committed. But yeah, I'm really excited to hear this album, especially because their debut was so strong for me. I'm really intrigued to hear what they come up with next. Oh my god, I can't stand how I wrote that. But it's too late to go back now. We've committed. I read that they are sampling Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, so I'm excited to hear that. Like, I'm down for a little sampler. Fairy tale. I've already forgotten what the other album version names are. I would do different colors for the versions, but I don't have black sticky notes, so I'm just gonna do all blue for him, and I think blue, like, fits his vibe. Okay, so that is the loyalty version, and then the last version is mystery. I am intrigued by that. I do like the album packaging this time. It is, like I said, like it is just like a little bulky for me and I'm trying to downsize a lot of my albums right now because they just aren't making me happy. So yeah, whenever I see the word mystery, it makes me think of, I spelled mystery wrong. I've given up on trying to make these aesthetic. <laughs> it is what it is. I guess I'll make a filler for the Lenti. I don't think that will be hard to get. Um, I have joined uh, two group orders so far for Matthew to get a few pre-order benefits. Oh my God, like we have just entirely lost the plot with these fillers, but it's fine. I'm gonna put this blank card in here because I honestly do think they are going to do some type of member version, so. Hopefully there's just one card for that and I'll leave that there. Um, and now we can set up for the pre-order benefits. And I'm gonna be one thing short. Why did I think I had enough? I don't know. So the pops I'm planning on collecting are, what did I join for? I joined for Apple Music because the description says that it is like a cat paw version. And then I joined for With Moo, which is Squish Cheek version, Squish Cheek version. And then I plan on joining for Make Star. I think that it's a name tag version, but um, I'm waiting for my trusted GOM to open for Makestar before I join a group order. I have like three or four very trusted GOMs in my repertoire that I always join with when I can, and um, I've joined with two of them for this comeback, and I'm just waiting for the other one to post for Makestar because the other two had um, like their Makestar slots for Matthew were full by the time I got around to joining because it's just been a little chaotic with the 127 comeback. My brain has literally been head empty 127 and I honestly wasn't even going to join group orders for this comeback but I figured I should. I just don't want to have to worry about it and then I'll get inclusions with these pobs and then I won't have to worry about that as long as they pull Matthew. So I just thought doing group orders this time around was the smartest way to go about it. And I'll leave this slot empty. I'm sure they will do another round of Make Star like during the comeback and I will try and collect that because I try and collect all of Matthew's Make Star photo cards, but yes. So for this setup, we have the two fairy tale version photo cards, the two loyalty version photo cards, the two mystery version photo cards, 
the Lenti and then this placeholder slot. Actually, what the heck? Hello? Do that. But yeah, this empty slot I am reserving for a member cover digipack or whatever. And then we have the pops that I'm collecting so far. So yes, that is the setup for Matthew. And that is the end of this video. Oh my God, I'm exhausted and I'm sweating. But yes, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Again, so, so sorry for my unintentional hiatus. I now have so much stuff to film. I have a Naokyo box sitting in my room that I need to do a video for. We'll be doing a 127 unboxing. Um, I might do a 17 unboxing. I don't know though. We'll see. I need to start photo cards. Like there's just a lot going on now. <laughs> so I'm really excited and I hope you are too. Let me know down below how you're doing, what comebacks you're looking forward to. And yeah, I will see you soon in another one soon. Bye.